When the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Yes, you are, Clem. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Yeah, Lee. Lee. Lee protected other people too. But he couldn't save everyone. You can never save everyone. Yes. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. Oh, she shit. took the life that Lee saved. Yeah, yeah, she did, she did. Lee left her on the side of the road. Yes. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me and even in the end he was still teaching uh yeah keep your ears that air sword just not worth yeah, the yeah, risk sure. lee wouldn't make it he knew it was the end yes he made one final request he did he did made a request yeah, the gun. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I died to leave. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ. He made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I shot him. I stopped Kenny. Yeah, Finally I did. gave him peace. I did shot Kenny. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done, I still decided we were better together, for AJ's sake. But like everything else, it wouldn't last. Yes. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. Yeah, I did spit. I fought back. Yeah, I did, I did. But I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. Lee! Lee, the child that you were protecting is now the protector of another child. Oh, they made it little. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. <laughs> the graphics, bro. It improved massively. Goofball. Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. 
I'm too big for it. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? You hungry? AJ? Hungry. I have a sneaker. <laughs> Oh, why would they give them damn magazine? Yeah, I give Here, them Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy uh, on second thought never mind that's only gonna make you hungrier no no, no. here you go about all we got what about you go for it we'll find something else soon i believe you He doesn't believe. He's just lying. Like, no, I believe you, but <laughs> no, <laughs> really no. Is a big boy, just like clam, that size. Is blocked by a train. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. In case something gets in our way, yes, of course. We need water too. You don't need the toy though. Find food. All right. Okay. Let's find some food. Some Vegas um, instructions. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. No, <laughs> I wouldn't ring the damn bell. It will attract fucking zombies, dude. I mean, walkers. There's no zombies in this area, in this world. AJ, stay back. They really changed how Still with me? the user Still interface here. is. No bites. And I love it. Next, we'll get in there. <laughs> I'm loving every minute of this season. Graphics improve, the decisions improve, dialogues improve, even the design of the characters, dude. Or oh, even shift run. Shift to run. Damn it, it's locked. Let's try open it with a fucking crowbar, dude. Oh. Are you ready, AJ? What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? 
Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? Find, find a, way a way out. out. That's right. Yeah. AJ is always listening. Of course she, he is. Of course. We raised him. As a baby. He understands shit. He understands how the world works. Oh shit. What? Huh. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Their choices no determine what he will become. Oh, we can make him a monster if we can. This one's locked. Or our benevolent security kid. door. But we will try can't to pry that open. You know, I know make him a hungry. benevolent kid because that's what we'll her his parents I wanted promise. him for him in this fucked up world. You know, Alvin and Rebecca. I still remember them. <laughs> Enter ticket boot. Boot boot. Where's the ticket boot? Oh, ticket boot. Do I hear them zombie in here? Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. See anything? Looks like some cans. Could still be edible. One of us might be able to fit through there. Is that the only way in? Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. That's right. Yes. I know you, Clement. I know you. Very good. Very good. You do your intuitions very well. Beans. Homemade. Might be more where this came from. Promising. Oh. They ate well for their last meal. They did. They did. Holy shit. This do they have water though? No water. Nope. It wouldn't be that easy, would it? No water supply. Hello, AJ. Still hungry? You are. Your face says everything. Okay. We got this opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Okay. Oh, they poisoned themselves. Poison. Or rat poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. It is, man. It is. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? Well, we respect the wishes of the dead, AJ, AJ. I need your help on this one. In there? Yes, AJ. We don't, we're we not monsters to, to kill a couple. Inside. We need to make sacrifices ourselves. To be brave. Yes. Claire, what, what she okay, said. Okay, I can be brave. We are not Where's here for violence. 
I will race you the right way. Once you're through, unlock this door. Got it. AJ. You gotta see this, Clem. <sighs> huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. And you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Ooh, there are bullets in here. Just a few. Yes! Remember what we said? You know this. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be some. Yeah, we we're getting right choices so. this time. I'm gonna raise AJ right, as intended. Not the worst place to sleep. Where's food? Food. Oh. Ah, it. Dang. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. Oh. Something under here. Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! Oh no, the walkers. They can hear that for meters. <laughs> meters. Monsters. Fuck. Okay, we need to get back to the car. Yeah, we teach them one word he can pronounce right. Fuck. Uh oh. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Go, AJ, go. Fucking kill you, son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's get to the car. Go. Bricks. 
Go. Dead. Oh no. Wait. Oh no, AJ, not again. I found you and you were lost again. Fuck. <sighs> that was good. That was a good introduction for season 4. Damn, bro. final season What is this place? God, that's so creepy, Jesus. Shit, fuck. <sighs>
shit. Is there anything that I can use? Russian here. Don't turn around. Put down the knife. How about you do the same? We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Okay. Your turn. Trusting people is hard to come by. See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to It scare. was. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. of children, huh? So you've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what. Hey, don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. 
I've seen some rough scenes. But that one would have been up there. Hi. <laughs> I don't mind him. What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you and ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults, at all. It wasn't always like this though. People leave, they die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Ericsson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit hey, troubled. Where are you? You got here? me and AJ all wrong, Marlin. A couple of pure angels. <laughs> Jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon? would be a long ass episodes I bet follow the music check This way. Where is that music coming from? Son, bitch, come here, little freaking twat. Clem, you're okay. I was afraid you were. I'm okay. <laughs> but, AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? You can't be doing that, kiddo. These people helped us. I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was. 
was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Louis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Is. It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. Can you play something else? Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Yeah, you have to know the world. You know, how the world works. That's right. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You know, for taking out a few deadheads. You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. to put it to use we've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside we need our help to clear the way seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days it's almost like something drew their attention something like i don't know an explosion or a car crash bye what just saying look i didn't know any of that was going to happen sorry if it caused you guys problems uh, um hello clementine i'm violet Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Huh. <laughs> Fucker. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side.
could use a little more finesse, though. Watch and learn. Hey, over here. Follow me. And that's how you school a walker. There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these asshats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Like they made it back in one piece. Come on, we'll meet him halfway. They made it back in one piece. Come on, we'll meet him halfway. Twice. Come on, meet him halfway. We're not going to be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see so you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. 
B minus then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> EJ! <sighs> oh, <shit>. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people into. I don't want to expect them to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Correct. Scavengers. No, scavengers. Scavengers. Avengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Well, scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. I know, I know. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. But they don't. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Help AJ make friends. You can make friends on his own, but okay. Make friends. Mmm, yeah. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Okay. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it, you just gotta... You just gotta start with the joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. Yes? Knock, knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Um, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. Nice. I did it. You sure did. Uh, 
I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's okay. talk to someone else. Okay. You're not ready yet? Okay. Oh, here we go. There are others out here. Oh, shit. Sorry. That's the pause menu. Don't press the space bar. Hey, guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Yeah, we pay our respects to the dead. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Very good, AJ. You're growing up to be a good person. Okay, what do we do next? Bet up, bet, bet up, bet. Hello. 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 Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. Not cool. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know. Bye. Okay. Fucking Clem? asshole. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. That's your choosing, my friend. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You are a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. <clears throat> Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? 
You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Oh, shit. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. I win. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. That's a yes. You don't know shit. I know what I know. Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? My friend, Lee. The first Lee. person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way, too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Mm. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs. Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Are you? Ask me that, I'll tell you the story. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm, <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. 
Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Oh, I did. We did, we did. Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yeah, my friend Kenny. What happened? What, like, led up to it? His heart broke and never put itself back together. Believe me, I did him a favor. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Nice. You guys, relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. Damn. Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's... it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Yeah. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Most of us that are still around, a lot of times we have more bad memories than good. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? 
What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro-town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, up there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. Hey. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. Oh. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. You're gonna get cold down there. The bed's a lot warmer. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. Okay. It's not so bad down here. Okay, okay, you can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay, good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah, me too. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Okay. Lead the way. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tintu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. 
It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. Dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. Sorry. Okay. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down at her level. Let her get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. So cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. Okay. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well, had plenty of vegetables growing, but it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah, 
So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I can't let another kid die. It could break us. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spearfishing. Hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Yeah. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Thanks for the warning. Careful around those, okay? Okay. Y'all are no fun. We got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. You do what you do to survive. That's all that matters. I knew you'd understand. Whatever, man. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. Play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. He's like a walker pinata. Cut it down, fix the snare, and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can starve. So dramatic.
Let's find food, man. Let's hunt food. We need food more than others. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. You a good shot? Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. You weren't lying. You're a damn good shot. Gonna need a few more like this if we're hoping to eat, though. I saw some others run this way. You definitely nailed the thing. Clem! Clem, come here! It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Let it get bigger. I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow doesn't exist, dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. It's a baby rabbit, dude. Come on. Bye, bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight, then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny, either. He'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. We good to go now, or what? Thanks to Clem, we got more than I expected. Not enough for everyone, but enough to smile about. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like fish. That's great. See ya. I like fish. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. It's clear. Holy shit! This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Someone's been living here. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... 
fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. There's nothing anymore. The train station. It's not too far from here. I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. Climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. That bell might be able to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then... I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not you. Not you either. Sam! Fine. <laughs> Give him a second. 
We may not have a second. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. Okay. Yes, these will be perfect. Clint, look. Try it out, see if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> we should remove the light, you know. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Nice. Can we just remove the fucking light? It's gonna attract fucking walkers, bro. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. What do you want? I just want food. Same reason you're here. friends made a lot of noise out there it wasn't hard to follow you live close by you knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside just passing through decided to see what we could scavenge uh-huh and you just got extra lucky You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? AJ, get down! You piece of shit! What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. What 
tell you on the way. Oh, well, that's what he gets. Listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim, Mitch. Check it out. Food. That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more. But we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> this is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think I don't give again. a fuck. I don't give I a fuck, Brody. Can't. I won't. Just... Not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious. Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't uh, see any other option. I had no choice, bro. Yeah, we had I no know. choice. This is hard keeping this together. Now if she's uh, well, she come back and she's still an asshole, I'll fucking shoot her in the head. View, I'd wager. Um, I'm telling you. I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. Brody's not positive in my book. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but 
not scared. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. I've seen we've seen Me a lot of our friends but turn into walkers. Like you know. ask one. But not Lee. Not I try Lee. not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now instead. Sylvie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live, and paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Hey. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. Nice. Nice, Dan. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. <laughs> you got in bed by yourself. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh! <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. You're going to bed, AJ. You're going to bed. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks.
What? <laughs> What's that? There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. I'll be right back. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. another entrance to the basement around here.
shit. We're going to find out here. Don't tell me the woman's pregnant with the, the, the boy. You know, you know what I mean? Teenagers, man. On the right age. You don't even know for sure was that. She also said he got bit. Which means he ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You Don't know that shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Oh, we have to tell the others about what you did! Who's there? Show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed Shut of what... Shut up! Ah! Try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> it in there and lift up the latch. Is that a... Yes, 
This will work. Okay. Shit. It became a horror game. Holy shit. Like Resident Evil, man. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Man, that guy is fucking pussy. That Marlon guy is a fucking pussy. I hate him. Where's AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? She's in the basement. She murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled and murder. Well, fuck them. Fuck, Marlin. Jesus Christ! Go ahead! You already took one life today! What's another one for the pile? What's holding you back, Marvin? Cowardice? Guilt? Or both? <laughs> Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Raiders? Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me? Your friend! She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? You have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! 
I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So is Brody. Clem, I... Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. AJ, run! It wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to you run. You have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came, he would have abandoned you, too. difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! <laughs> All of you! Every fucking one of you! He's lying to you. He can't or won't protect you. Look what happened to Bruce. To Sophie, Minerva. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. When they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. You Dick. told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. Stakes some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, I died. Shit. Don't go for the gun. I can't. 
for the head. Oh shit. Fuck. Why? Why did they have to talk? 